Hello, this video is just a short video to show how the new plugin version is using um, the new Unreal for 27 and the new Unreal Editor 5 with early access uh, preview 2 um, this video is going to show you uh, the new changes for moving from the actor approach that you had to add that actor in this scene and now you don't do that now you use a uh, game, uh, gameplay subsystem so the um, plugin is always uh, load once you enter the engine um, you can use the SDK from Photon Club from everywhere. So this is the new Unreal 427. Um, as you can see, it's the preview too, and the ring is already working. You, there is nothing special you need to configure for this one. Um, like from this new approach of using um, impressive system you have to set a blueprint class and this blueprint class is going to be accessed by the subsystem um, this is a blueprint that it's inheriting from the photon cloud object that is a C++ uh, class so the other one, the photon cloud actor can be removed um, so the code is almost the same the only thing that changed from the old version using an actor is that now you have to use another context to spawn the actor for example for this project is the player ball and uh, what I did was to move um, the spawning directly to the controller so the controller is going to spawn the pound for you when you are connected to the room after you connect to the server so the first thing we do again is to bind all the events that the subsystem is going to use uh, from those methods you can control the flow of the network uh, the first thing you do is usually to connect so you can search for connect so th when the system loads and this happens when the engine loads and when the game starts the subsystem is load then you bind all the events um, the connection is done from the widget so if you go to the connect widget you will see that there is a button there and the method that this button use is the onclicked the onclicked get the photon reference what is this photon reference you see the, it's now a a photon cloud subsystem this is again instance subsystem you can see from there you get the API this is the access directly access to the SDK uh, from there you can connect this connect is already a C++ function so you can see the code from there um, so yeah so once you connect from the hood the hat the widget then it will go through this event
so you check if it's the count of players the same as the max players you can use this variable here if you want but this way you are using the configuration instead of the variable it's the same so the match start changing the map to the game map the game mode change and you are filling all the info so let's see let's try with two clients because we are setting a max player of two and uh, we are going to try with standalone because we are not using the Unreal Networking we are using our own networking layer that is separated from that so now I can connect let's connect don't worry about these errors so this is our first player and the other player is going to be here and you can interact using the row keys Sita to spawn objects um, this are the information regarding how the replication work I'm sending a lot of information from what the actors are spawning. In this case, what you use from the player when you use the Sita K, we are spawning um, an actor that uh, already contains a replicator component. You see, this replicator component is going to replicate with your configuration. So the owner is the creator could be the master if you want to control the logic from only one uh, of the clients because the server uh, has no logic unless you do that and you need a server for that but the approach of this plugin is to use photon cloud cl that is using the cloud not your own server so those are the only changes regarding using IM Place system. So you don't need to have the actor anymore in the scene. You don't need to uh, make the travel for it. So you can use it from any other blueprint. Yes, calling the photon cloud system. And you can see this is the game subsystem. So let's see how it works with Unreal 5 now. I noticed that using the new Unreal 5, it's pretty much faster. You can see we have the same approach, same blueprints. Um, you can go to the project settings, project settings. You can go to the plugins, and in the photon cloud section, you have all the same configuration. You have the same blueprint. Um yeah we can search just for the room name. Let's change this for six game five. We can promote this to a variable room name.
So let's try let's try again. Um, remember you have to use the standalone uh, because we are not supporting any listen server or dedicated server because we are only it's like we are using the offline mode for Unreal but we are actually using a networking based on this plugin that is not an online source system. And you can see it's the same. Don't worry about the rotation. <laughs> That's something with the lerping. Uh, you can change the way you want. Let's spawn some actors. Ah, this is really great. Let's try again. Another color. <laughs> So you see, it's working. Enjoy!